to the TD Waterhouse Center in downtown Orlando. Let's have a look at tonight's Gatorade starting lineups. On the left side, you will see the starting lineups from the Milwaukee Bucks. It's Glenn Robinson, Scotty Williams, Mark Pope, Sam Cassell at the point, and Ray Allen. Ray Allen came up very big in game two. Not only did he add the 27 points, but he added 10 rebounds. We've told you the story on Tracy McGrady, today named the NBA's most improved player. He had 33 points in game one and 35 in game two. The question is, who will give him some help? And now let's go sideline to Cheryl Miller. Thanks a lot, Bob. Well, Mike Miller, Orlando's rookie, understands that in order for them to beat the Bucks tonight, someone other than Tracy McGrady needs to step up and step up big. In game two, Miller was in foul trouble, was not able to do that, but he said tonight he will be absolutely aggressive. The shots will be put up early and often, and there is going to be no holding back, Bob. Thank you, Cheryl. Well, Mike Miller, of course, just the rookie. He played at the University of Florida, one of the top ten rookies in six different categories, but as you pointed out, this is his first playoff experience against a very experienced Bucks team. Yes, and he's shooting just 35% from the floor, about 30% from the three-point line, averaging just 10 points, and Doc Rivers needs him to give him a little bit more tonight. He needs him to have actually a huge game tonight. Then it's Salvador, Joe Forty, and Mark Wunderlich, a veteran officiating crew. As we're ready to get here, they had a 1,000 extra tickets to sell before they had a sellout at the TD Waterhouse Center, but it looks as though they've done that. This place is jamming, and it is loud. The Bucks come away with the opening tip, and here is Sam Vassell. Armstrong starting out matched up on Cassell. Bad pass. Here comes Tracy McGrady. We've got a four-on-three. Inside, outlaw, Armstrong. Hits the three to open the game. And that's what Darryl Armstrong is. He's a spot-up shooter. No magic. So, 10.07 to go, first quarter. 5-2 Orlando. The Bucks have beaten the Magic 11 straight times since 1999. Sam Cassell must have taken three dozen shots from that spot right there in pregame warm-ups working with his assistant coaches. Darryl Armstrong got a piece of that ball, forcing Cassell to put up a bad shot. Here comes Miller, tried to reverse hit the bottom of the rim. Cassell back. We have a four on two. Allen is fouled as he tries to take it for the reverse layup, and he'll go to the free throw line. Cassell loves to take smaller guards down in the low post area, and then that little bit of fade and the fact that he keeps it behind his head, he gets that shot off most times. That time, Armstrong affected it, got a piece of it. Nine minutes to go, first quarter. Magic by one. McGrady. Being played by Pope, steps back, hits the baseline, jumper, 7-4, Orlando. Oh. Defensive rebound for Orlando, gives him an opportunity to run. McGrady, not this time, rebound comes back to Miller. He takes it inside, strong, and the rookie scores. Milwaukee having trouble scoring. The Bucks are one of seven to start this game. You don't realize how big Mike Miller is out there. Plus, he gets up pretty well off the ground. So when he goes to make his drive to the basket, you're talking about a guy who gets up there. He's 6'8", and finishes high. Outlaw steals it ahead to Armstrong. It's 11-6, Orlando. Well, the Magic showing some energy here, and Armstrong playing with some quickness, much more than we would expect it with the groin and stomach muscle problems he's had. Scotty Wiggins steps in. He misses the short jumper. One of eight, the Bucks. Good pass inside, the court couldn't handle it. Nice play by Glenn Robinson. He got the hand in there, took away the passing lane. Nobody picked up Ray Allen. He gets the easy two-hand throwdown. It's 11-8 Magic. How quickly things turn around. What could have been, should have been, as you say, a layup at one end for Orlando turns into a fast break layup for the Bucks. McGrady defended by Pope. Inside to Outlaw. Yes! Excellent pass by Tracy McGrady. McGrady averaged seven and a half assists on the regular season. And there's that physical play. And Outlaw goes 
down. The foul will be on Scott Williams. There's the steal by Outlaw and the pass to Armstrong. And Outlaw will go to the free throw line. This is always an adventure. Outlaw shot 57% on the regular season. He's two for six in the playoffs. Thirteen ten. He was a tough guard for Armstrong. He's considered a good defender off the dribble, so you know he's going to be a tough guard for anybody else. He'll start it all over again with nine on the shot clock. McGrady's going to pull up and take a long one, front edge to the rim. Back to the Bucks. Right into the hands of McGrady. They have four against two. McClurk. Bad pass to McGrady from DeClerk. He's having hand problems here tonight. And it turns into two at the other end. And it's a one-point Magic lead. Magic leads it by one. The Bucks lead the series two games to none, but you wouldn't know it by the way Tracy McGrady has been talking. He has really clamped down on Glenn Robinson, and he makes it even worse when he said this in the press. Was Big Dog locked down or what? Big Dog? We should call him Puppy Dog. Well, he's just trying to show and lead his team with the confidence that he exudes during the regular season. Glenn Robinson averaged 22 points a game, shot 47% so far after two games. He's averaging just 14 points per game, shooting just 32%. He's taken only five free throw attempts, so O'Grady really has done a pretty good job at the defensive end. Pope left all alone inside. Nobody looked at him. He gets the easy lay-in on the ball. Yeah, here tonight. You see, if the Magic don't have the initial break, they're trying to get back into more half-court sets, use more time on the clock, be patient, get a high percentage shot. McGrady shoots it right over Tim Thomas. Thomas, remember, came into game one with an injured shoulder during the game. He sprained his back, came back on Wednesday night, did not play very well, but he did get 17 minutes. He says he's feeling better today. Irvin Johnson alone to go in for the jam, and he has to be fouled. That was Mike Miller who got him. The last nine, McGrady goes in as it tipped away. Eight on the shot clock. Breaks down Robinson, went in for the hard slam. Troy Hudson puts it back. Joliak finally gets it, the offensive rebounding. Paying off for the Magic that time. It's a two-point Bucks lead. A quarter. Thomas on McGrady. Step back, and the foul. Well, Doc Rivers worked hard to get that foul ball. He started back about four minutes ago working for it, and he just got rewarded at that time. Finally on the jump shot. McGrady has been saying all along that they hit me on my arm as I go up. Well, that time the call is made, basket goes in, now he goes to the free throw line. Doc's still talking to Bennett Salvatore. Well, he's working for the next time down the floor already. You see the free throw situation. Big disparity in the series. Milwaukee shot 69, and thus far, coming into this game, the Magic only 39, and McGrady missed that one. And then last possession, the last shot. So take the time, let the guard come back and get it, and then we'll give it to him. Armstrong goes down, no foul call. Thomas misses from three. Caffey with the big rebound, but time has expired in the first quarter. And the Magic lead, 24-23. Orlando holds Milwaukee to 30% shooting in that first period.